This session, we're going to be exploring phonics by using Minecraft. So, before we begin, a quick recap on what we did last week. We began by looking at some of the phonic sounds. So, we had k, d, g, a. So, we covered a few of the basic phonic sounds and we found the pictures that started with those sounds. So, for k, we had clock crab and creeper. After that we cut out the words that we'd been looking at and we found which pictures went with which word and we decoded the words using our understanding of the phonic sounds. Following on from that we then used our phonics to read the sentences the TNT is red, the Enderman is black, the Creeper is green, focusing on the colours. Before looking at the phonic blends X, Est and Er. We then cut out the words, mixed them up and saw if we could put them into the right categories and use our understanding of the phonic sounds to read the words. So, just to remind ourselves, what is phonics? Phonics is the name for the sounds made by the letters of the alphabet. And what is it good for? Well, like we found out last week, it's good for helping us to decode and understand words that are a little bit tricky. Words like this one, Enderman, which when we break up sounds like e, n, d, e, m, a, n. Enderman. By breaking the words up into those sounds, it can make it easier for us to understand and read tricky words. This can also help us when we're playing games to following instructions. Okay, so for today's session, we're going to be looking at the sound A ah, using some of the items that we found last week. So while we were talking about Minecraft, we've started to collect together images and words relating to each of the different sounds. So today we're going to be looking at the sound A. Ah. And we've collected a number of different images that start with the A ah sound. So let's begin. The character over here is called Alex. If we break that up into its phonic sounds, we have A, ah, U, E, X, Alex. If we look at the bottom of the screen, we've got five different words. Let's see if we can find Alex at the bottom using our understanding of the phonics. A, U, E, X. Can you find it? That's right, there it is. A, U, E, X. Let's draw a line around the word Alex and connect it to the picture of Alex. There she is, there's Alex. Okay, what should we look at next? Let's try apple. Let's sound it out first. A, P, U, apple. Let's see, using that, if we can find the word apple at the bottom of the screen. A, App, app, oh, apple, there it is, and there's apple. Using our phonics, we we're able to figure out that that is the right word, apple. 
and there's apple. Okay, let's try the next one. So up here we have an, what's this? That's right, this is the arrow. And if we sound it out, it sounds like a, er, o, arrow. Let's look at the words at the bottom and see which one is the right one to spell the word arrow. A, r, nope, it's not that one. A, r, o. There's the o sound, that's a tricky sound, but we know that this is the arrow word by breaking it up into its phonics. A, r, o. So let's draw a circle around the word and join it to our picture of an arrow. Okay, so we've got two pictures left. Let's have a look at a nice easy one now. Let's try axe. So if we sound it out, we have a x. Where's the word axe? Let's have a look at the bottom of the screen. A n. Well, it's definitely not that. So let's have a look at the other one. A x. There we go. So if we circle the word and join it to the picture. What can we do with an axe in Minecraft? How useful is that item? How many things can you think that we can do with that? I wonder how long your list would be. Okay, so our last item on the A board is this one over here. I wonder if you know what this item is. Well, we know it begins with an A, and we've got one word left down at the bottom. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's an anvil. I wonder if you can think of a list of things we can make with an anvil. Let's try and find the word. Here it is, anvil. Let's sound that out. A, n, v, i, l. Anvil. Anvil. Again, circle the word and let's join it to the anvil. There it is. So we've got our five words. An anvil, an arrow, Alex, an axe, and an apple. Let's see if we can put those words into a sentence. Before we move on, have a think of any sentences you could make using those words. Okay, let's move on and see what sentences we have. Here's the first one. Let's try and read that. So we have A L X Alex used an axe. Alex used an axe. I wonder what Alex used the axe for. Okay, let's try the next sentence. A little bit longer. So we've got Alex and then a new word. So let's sound this out. P I C T picked. Up an apple. Apple. Alex picked up an apple. Let's try the next one. This time, see if you can sound the words out and read the sentence by yourself.
OK, let's try it together now. A L X Alex A D had A N an A R O Arrow Alex had an arrow. Well done. OK, let's try the last of our sentences today with the A sound. Again, try and read it by yourself first and then we'll do it together. OK, let's try it together. A L X Alex. And here's a new word. F Ow N D found A N An A N V I O Anvil Alex found an anvil. That's all of the sentences using the a words for this session. Were you able to read the last two by yourselves? With a little bit more practice, I'm sure you will be. That's all for this session. And next time we'll be looking at sounds using buh. Okay, bye for now.